good morning everyone this is ranger rob welcome to the channel i hope everybody's having a great day and uh as promised uh yesterday's video we put our first hydroponic uh broccoli in our floating rafts and uh i told you i was concerned about the cold nights so i haven't looked yet and we're going to go look for the first time to see if the little small starter uh, oh we got a lot of deer over here oh wow it's about six of them <laughs> anyway uh squirrel we're gonna see walking up to the greenhouse right now and did the plant make it and uh well i can see through the window here it's upright but let's go take a look well, well, well. Look at that. It made it through the night. So that's pretty cool. So the question is, how cold did it get last night? So right now it's 75 degrees in here. And it got down to 32 degrees last night. And that little plant looks pretty happy. That is good news. Okay, so we'll probably, I might add a couple more. And once you, I don't want to get too crazy here, but so far that plant looks very happy. So, uh, oh, the other way, thing I never pointed out to you guys is in our potatoes. Our first one we started has already got sprouts in it. So, uh, first time I've ever grown potatoes. So uh, how exciting. I think those are uh, russets. So uh, yeah. Well, looks like we're going to plant some more broccoli today in the new hydroponic rafts. Well, we're getting a little braver. I went ahead and added three more plants. So now we got, that's our original, and uh, we'll see how those, how those little guys do. So uh, cross our fingers that they make it, and uh, we'll keep watching them. We are in the garage now where my freeze dryer is. And uh, a couple of days ago you saw we made garlic that we uh, accomplished already and uh, get a little bit of light going here and uh, we made garlic powder and made two batches of that sent one with a home with her sister and in the whole garlic uh, we put into uh, mylar bags to store for long term so uh, today we just finished up two pineapples and our process is complete so I'll let you see them we love the pineapple it's really good the other thing you'll get a kick out of the pineapple is if you have a sensitive tongue when eating a pineapple uh, for some reason the freeze-dried pineapple is a little more intense so you can't eat as much uh, if you have a sensitive tongue to uh, citrus but uh, man is pineapple good and the other thing we learned is we got a pineapple that seemed like it wasn't as sweet as the first one we did. But once we freeze dried it, it actually tastes uh, much sweeter. So I thought that was kind of interesting. So I'm going to unload the uh, uh, freeze dryer. i uh, got to let the pressure out, let it drain out. And then uh, we'll bring it into the house and I've got jars ready to go. Well, I brought the uh, freeze dried pineapple in. Looks delicious. Uh, we're going to uh, jar one and put a, uh, a oxygenator in it and uh, this one's for <laughs> munching on and then probably bag the rest but yeah this is what they look like super good super delicious and uh, keep them away from your grandkids because they'll, they'll they'll eat them all well, there you go we got a one full jar, which I have an oxygen uh, 
bag in there and this one's for munching at the house this will go fast it'll be hard for us not to open this one up for a while but uh yeah that's two pineapples right there two large pineapples from costco and uh yeah it shrinks up pretty good but it's so good the next super fun thing we got to do today is go get chicken feed i'm gonna buy 150 pounds of a uh, chicken uh I use the layer crumbles and we're going to buy a hundred pounds even though I need more of uh, weed and feed for the grass and start that process um, we turn on the watering systems and uh, uh, the grass is definitely starting to grow and I want to get this weed and feed on there before we do our first mowing so and I get the puppies with us hi guys you guys ready to go for a ride you guys want to go bye bye all right well we're gonna go get that right now we are back from you know where home depot and uh we went to the feed store too so i managed to get 150 pounds of uh laying crumbles and uh, i use the swanson brand and uh bought 100 pounds of uh weed and feed which uh i'm not looking forward to doing but i thought i'd uh try experiment with the uh, Dutch bucket system and I picked up a big beef uh, uh, sacrificial <laughs> tomato plant that I need to pull out rinse off the, uh, the roots really good and get the soil off of it and I'm gonna fire up uh, the Dutch bucket system and see how, uh, how uh, strong this plant is to see if it can handle the colder nights uh, they do harden off their uh, plants at Home Depot <coughs> um, every day outside so uh, kind of looking forward to seeing if it'll work might be too early still and then finally I've got to get some uh, another hose split off in the back one to the garden and one to the greenhouse and the chicken pen so we're just going to use a little brass Y fitting to do that and uh yeah so let's get that going well i uh, filled up our tank down here i uh, did the master blend uh and i have a master blend that's for tomatoes and veggies and uh started up the system it's running pretty good i did get the big beef tomato trimmed the lower um, branches as best i could and put it into the perlite and have the water running on the system right here right on the roots getting nutrition's in there so now the system's running uh, by the way I had a lesson learned uh, I got my pretty little broccoli in here I overlooked one little thing my dog so my dog got to one of my plants I'm hoping it'll survive but uh yeah so new problem um, so, <laughs> uh, there's always something, I mean, just the things, you know, you get all the right formulas for everything and that's great. I also notice I have a slight leak in one of my buckets right here. And, uh, so I either need to replace that gasket, uh, when I shut the system off or, uh, yeah, probably just have to replace the gasket and see if I can get a better seal. Other than that, that's the only leak I see. Everything's draining fine. And uh, I'm going to run the uh, bucket system for a while, maybe a half hour to an hour, uh, to get my perlite um, nice and soaked with, uh, with the... <laughs> Watch my camera. Um, make sure I'm getting lots of nutrients throughout the perlite. So I'm just kind of going to move my my uh, feeders here around a little bit. Just to uh, spread out some of the nutrients into the uh, perlite. And uh, go from there. I can't procrastinate anymore. It's getting time to hit these lawns. 
uh, they could use some fertilizing and they could use some weed deterrent. So I pulled out this spreader, bah humbug, and uh, added it right here. And uh, I'm using this uh, weed and feed here, and it's supposed to uh, promote green growth, green health for the, and get rid of noxious weeds. So uh, <laughs> let's do it. Well, I got one bag to take care of this front yard and around the pond. And I got it to take care of uh, this lawn over here. And which goes along to the back too. But uh, that's only like one quarter of the yard. So two bags is not going to go very far. I cracked open another bag. I'm going to attempt to do that lawn there and maybe a little bit of that one. And uh, I think that's all I have enough to do until next time I buy more. By the way, this is $42 a bag. It kind of makes you want to cry. All right, we finished off that back grass and half of that grass over there. And uh, I'm tired. And uh, I've been checking the water systems with the new timers. Uh, repaired a couple more water systems from the overall water system of the, of the yard and uh, so it's time for me to start thinking about feeding my dogs and uh, making dinner for Sherry before she gets home so uh, I want to thank everybody for watching please take the time to like subscribe and share our videos all over the whole wild world I mean all of it I mean every part of it I really appreciate it guys uh, be safe may you have a blessed day and uh, until next time, bye now. Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags. Available at Amazon right now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.